Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a quick video here of how I recycled a couple of old phones to use them as a home automation control panel. It's a pretty cheap way to get some pretty advanced controls uh, over your home automation system. So the app I'm using uh, is Impure Home here. It's a really amazing app. It is a paid app, but I think it's well worth it for all of its functionality. Uh, the home automation system I'm using is Vera. But this app can work for a number of different uh, home automation controllers. So in just a second I'll show you how to set all this up. But first I just want to give a quick overview of how I have things set up so you can see what's possible. So the first thing is, is I have the screen automatically turned on when there's motion detected. So if I just wave my hand in front of it or walk in front of it, the screen turns on. One of the reasons I really like Impure Home to be my primary display on my phone is I have some uh, integration with Vera. So I can install an app and then I control which page is displayed right on the phone. So this one, for example, comes up when motion's triggered on my front porch. So it just loads my security camera whenever motion's triggered on my front porch, and then it just goes back to my main default page. All that can be customized in scenes using Plague, so you can control which pages you want to display based on motion, based on time of day, anything like that. As long as you can think of it um, and you have the sensors to do it, you can run all that through Plague. This app also has different composite devices. So like this composite security device here, I can tap on that. And then it will show me when uh, each of my security sensors was last tripped and if they're currently tripped. And Pure Home also integrates with Datamine, a plugin for Vera that will graph your data and log your data. So I can tap on that and then I can get a graph of the previous two days temperature. I can also change the different uh, date ranges if I wanted. I can set up dimmable lights, control my thermostat, turn on and off my lights. I can swipe between pages here if I want. Control my blinds, light sensors, all sorts of awesome features. You'll notice I have a different page style here. It comes with different page styles that you can configure as well. So that's just a quick overview of some of the things I'm doing with the Impure Home app. Uh, now I'm going to walk through how to set it up. Now, Keep in mind, this is how I set up my phones. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to do this, especially with turning on the front camera, um, unlocking your phone, things like that. So um, just a quick disclaimer that this is how I set it up. You may find a better way. If you do, feel free to post in the comments for other viewers. Uh, it may give them ideas for different routes to go. Uh, but this is how I did it. So the first thing I did was rooted my phone. Because there's so many different phone types out there and different ways to root them, I'm not going to cover that in here. A uh, quick Google search should show you how to root your model phone. But the reason I rooted my phone, and just, just so you know, it's not necessarily mandatory to root your phone, but um, for me, the phones that I have, uh, I found that it's um, made it easier to work with. For example, I use an app that allows me to do nightly restarts of my phone just so it doesn't get bogged down and the memory gets reset, and root's required for that app. I'm sure that you could find ways around that, though, if you didn't want to root your phone. Um, but I've found that once it's rooted, it's just a lot easier to work with the various apps. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is change some of the settings for the Android. So I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi and I'm going to make sure it's always turned on um, even during sleep. So that way it can always communicate with my network. I'm going to go into my display and I'm going to make it so the screen times out somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes, whatever you prefer. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the security. and I'm going to set the screen lock to none. Now that I've configured my Android settings, I'm going to launch the Impure Home app. When I first go into the app, it's going to have a demo system in here, and then it's going to prompt me to set up my own system. So as long as you're connected to your home Wi-Fi network where your system's on, you'll be able to automatically set up your system. Uh, if not, you're going to want to go into set up a new system, uh, and then you can just tap on that, select your system, and then step through the prompts. I'm just going to walk through the app and some of the settings that I've set up. So in general preferences, I set the default display type to dashboard view instead of list view. Dashboard view is that demo that I showed you where you have all the different tiles and things. I've unchecked the display status bar here. Basically what that does will just show you your time and your Android status bar up at the top and I want this to just show me the Impera Home app so I've unchecked that. Moving down, I've unchecked the show update spinner. Basically that's just a little update spinner that shows up when it's updating with the system. And I'm not a big fan of having that display over my tiles, so I've just turned it off. 
And lastly, all the way at the bottom, if you're going to interface this with your Vera, like in the demo that I showed, you're going to want to enable the API HTTP server. That will allow you to interface with the app from your Vera and do things like change pages or say text. Okay, moving on. I don't really use the list view that often, so I'm going to skip over all those preferences and go right into dashboard view preferences. So the first setting that I changed is I set the screensaver delay to no standby. Now, Impure Home actually has an a built-in wake-up feature. So it actually hasn't worked for either of my phone types that I'm using. Um, but if it does work for you, you can definitely use this to set your screensaver delay for how quickly your screen turns off. Since I'm using a different app, I'm going to set to no standby. So that what I was just talking about is this wake-up with camera. So you can test this and see if it works for you. If it does, great. You can skip all the rest of the steps in this video. Well, most of them anyway. So wake up with camera, just test that. And what I found is it worked on one of my phones, but as soon as I went out to like the, the home screen and launched another app, then I couldn't get it to work again without restarting the app. So that's why I'm using this other system to turn on and off my screen. Okay, so that's just the basics of setting up the app. You can feel free to go through the settings and configure it how you'd like, but that's that should get you going. Okay, so now that we have the general configuration set up of Impure Home, we can go and start adding some dashboard pages. So I'm just going to go into the edit mode, and then I can tap on the plus here to add a new dashboard page. I choose a layout that I want. Some of these layouts won't be available to you if you're just using the demo mode, but you can still have some to practice with. So after I choose a layout, I tap on the grid here, and then I can choose a widget. So they have generic widgets with just text labels, clocks, web pages, um, voice commands, speech recognition, um, things like that. Then you can uh, go over to the devices. So this is where all of your devices will be for, in my case, it's Vera. So I can just go into the kitchen, for example, and then select one of my devices. And then it's going to give me some different options for this device. So I can choose what type of um, device widget that I'd like to have show. So in this case, this is a dimming light, so I can tap on that dimming device here. And then it drops it on my dashboard page. If I want to move it, I just long press on it and then drag it to another grid. If I want to remove it, I just long press on it and then drag it to the trash can. Okay, if I want to go in and add another device, um, do the same thing, browse through all the different devices. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there, you can just choose from the widget style that you want. This composite device list is pretty cool. So this is where you could um, have a composite security device so it would show you if any of them are tripped. I showed this in the demo and then you could show which one of them was tripped and when. Uh, there's a global light switch, so you could add multiple lights to this one switch, turn them all off at once. Global blind switch or shutter switch, so you could do the same thing, turn them all up or put them all up or down at once. So once you've made your changes that you want, you just tap on the checkbox there, and then it's set. To go in and edit again, just go back to edit mode, tap on the boxes, and you can add more widgets and devices. Okay, so. In theory, you could stop right here if you have your front camera working or if you didn't even want to use your front camera, and you'd be all set using Impera Home. But if you want to use the alternate screen wake-up method or control the app from your Vera, check out my other videos in this series.